Suppose you start at 0, 0, and you want to go to 8, 8. You can only walk up or to the right. How many paths can you take such that the number of direction changes are even? If you want to try the problem yourself, pause the video here and come back when you have a solution. If you would like a hint, try, try to think about when the direction changes are even. What can you say about the first and the last step you take? Okay, so if you've had a thought about it or just want to hear the solution, let's think about when the number of changes are even. I'll draw a couple of sample paths that we can take such that they all have an even number of direction changes. Let's pay attention to the first and the last step of each path. You can notice that if the first step goes to the right, then the last step must go to the right as well. Similarly, if the first step is up, then the last step must be up as well. So it seems that as long as the first and the last step are the same, the number of direction changes is even. But why is that? Well, we can view our path as a series of U's and R's, where U stands for up and R stands for right. As you can see, if we start with R, then changing direction will give us a U, and we'll stay with U until we perform another direction change, at which point we'll be back with R. Therefore, if we want the total number of direction changes to be even at the last step, the letter we write for the last step must be the same letter we used in the first step. Okay, so we found a necessary and sufficient condition for the number of direction changes to be even. But what do we do from there? Well, let's split up the paths into those that begin with R, and remember that means they must also end with R, and those that begin with U. But these two cases are exactly the same. You could imagine mirroring the whole grid about the diagonal to get one scenario from the other. So we can actually just find the number of paths that start with R and then multiply that number by two. All right, so we want to find the number of paths that start with R and end with R. If the first step we take is R, then we're at the point one comma zero. And since the last step is R, the point before that last step is seven comma eight. Therefore, we just want to find the number of paths from one comma zero to seven comma eight. In particular, we need to go right six times and go up eight times meaning that our path will consist of 14 letters, where six of these letters are R's and eight of these letters are U's. Now observe that, we, that if we pick the positions of the six R's in the sequence, then all the positions of the eight U's are already determined just by placing them in all the free spots. So we just have to find the number of different arrangements of six R's in those 14 slots. In other words, we want to find the number of ways we can choose six slots out of these 14 slots that, we'll, that we will label with R's. This is just the number of combinations using n is equal to 14 and k is equal to 6. So the number of paths is 14 choose 6 or 14 factorial divided by 6 factorial times 8 factorial. Another way to look at this is that we have 14 choices for the first slot, 13 choices for the second slot, 12 choices for the third slot, and so on, which gives us the 14 factorial at the top but since the R's can permute between themselves without changing the path, and the U's can permute between themselves without changing the path, we have to divide by the number of permutations that won't change the path, which is six factorial and eight factorial. All right, so as said before, to get the total number of paths, we just have to multiply by two to account for the paths that start and end with U's, which means that our final answer is two times 14 factorial divided by 6 factorial times 8 factorial, which is precisely 6006. Subscribe for more.